Hey, so it's a video to help you get through that math quiz on graphing in a variety of contexts. Um, so kind of a tough lesson. There's a lot of things in here that you need to know. Um, so first thing you need to know is how to find slope. And so to find slope when we have points like this, we're going to use this formula right here. And that kind of tells us that we need to subtract our y's and then subtract our x's, and that'll give us our slope. And remember, all of our answers should be in y equals mx plus b. M is our slope, and B is the y-intercept. Remember, y-intercept is where it crosses the y-line. All right, so first let's find our slope. So if we remember, this is our x, this is our y, this is our x, this is our y. If you forget that, it's set in alphabetical order. So just say the alphabet. X comes before y, so x comes before y. So I'm going to subtract my y's, and this 2 and 1 just means I'm going to do the second set of parentheses first. So the second set of parentheses, so my y in the second set of parentheses is negative 4. My y in the first set of parentheses is positive 4. So negative 4 minus 4. And then my x in the first set of parentheses, or I'm sorry, in the second set of parentheses is 3. My x in the second set of parentheses is 1. So I get negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8. 3 minus 1 is 2. Negative 8 over 2 is the same as negative 4. And remember, that is my x. Or sorry, that's my m. So it always goes next to my x. So I'm looking for something that starts with y equals negative 4x. And we only got one option there, so we don't even need to do what the y-intercept is because the only one that says y equals negative 4x is that first option. We'll find the, next, the y-intercept in another problem, but for that problem, it's good just finding the slope because there are no other ones with slope of negative 4. Okay, here, kind of the same thing, um, or else you're kind of just looking for a line that goes through these two points. So remember, again, the first one is x, the second one is y, and unfortunately this picture was too big, so I only got a picture of two of them. So I'm looking for something that crosses at negative 3 and 7, so there's a dot right there, and then at 6 and 4. So this line happens to go through both of them, so we're good. If we look at this other option that I got in the picture, 6, 4 is up here. Negative 3, 7 is over here. Well, this line doesn't go through any of them. So when it asks if a line that passes through these two points is shown on which graph, just make sure that those two points both end up on the line. Okay. Here, a line passes through the point 4, negative 2. So let's find 4, negative 2. It has a slope of 1 half. And it says, what is the value of the point negative 4? And then we need to find that other point. So negative 4 is this line. So negative 4 is my x. So I need to see when this graph hits. That's not a straight line. I need to see when this graph is going to cross this line, because this is my negative 4 line. Okay? And that tells us our slope is 1 half. And we like it when our slope is in fractions. Because that makes it easier for us as opposed to decimals or whole numbers. This is like the one time in math that we like fractions. Because another way to find slope is rise over run. Rise is how much I'm going to go up or down. Up is positive, down is negative. And then run is how much I'm going to go left or right. Right is positive, left is negative. So if I right here, and I'm going to figure out that I'm going to go up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. Well, I ran out of room here. But let's see if we draw a straight line. If we can figure out where, let's do this in another color actually so we can tell a little better, where this line is going to cross that line there. And only if Mr. Mola can draw straight lines. Okay, so we find out that we're crossing that line right there at negative 4, negative 6. So kind of two parts there. We had to figure out the slope and then figure out where that line was. All right, uh, a slope has a, a line has a slope of negative three and a y-intercept of three. Remember, y-intercept is where it's crossing the y line, and then it asks for the x-intercept. So this is the time where we don't like our slope at being a whole number because now it's kind of confusing. Our rise is negative three, so that means we're going to go down three. But then here, it's kind of confusing because some people think it's a zero run. It's really a 1 run, because if you put in like negative 3 divided by 0 in your calculator, it'll give you an error. If you type in negative 3 divided by 1, it'll just tell you that it's negative 3. 
So that means I'm going to rise down three. So kind of confusing because it's negative. So I'm going to go down three, one, two, three. And I'm going to go over to the right one. And it's asking what the x intercept is of that line. An x intercept, remember, is when it touches the x line. And so it's positive one. Uh, a line passes through the point four, negative six, and has a slope of negative three fourths. What's the equation? So you were kind of half right. We know this one and this one's going to be wrong because we're looking for a slope of negative 3 fourths. So now we're going to take that same equation, y equals mx plus b. And now it gave us an x, it gave us a y, and it gave us an m. We just don't know what that b is. So we're going to plug in all this other information. So instead of y, it told me the y was negative 6. Instead of m, it told me the m, actually it told me the slope, so you have to know that slope and m are the same thing, is negative 3 fourths. And it told us the x was 4. And I just need to figure out what b is. So if I do some math here, negative 3 fourths times 4 is the same as negative 3. And so now I have a negative 3 plus b. So I'm going to end up adding 3 to both sides to get rid of it. So negative 6 plus 3 is a negative 3. And that's going to be my b. So that's why it's this top one up here negative 3 fourths x minus 3 then. And then here, last one, I got a line passes through 8, negative 1. What is the y-intercept? So I'm just going to graph these two points. So positive 8 and negative 1 is right here. And then negative 4 and 2 is right here. So we're going to try and find the y-intercept of this line. And so if we draw a straight line here, again, maybe not so straight on Mr. Molo. It's right there, and we figure out that it's going through the point 1. And I think that is the last one, so hopefully you're good to go from there. Hope that helps.